Hi there, I'm Black Pride, broadcasting out of the UK, um, around your homes. Um, yeah, this is going to be Dark Side of Love Island 8. But first of all, let me tell you a little bit about yesterday. I went to have a hammam spa, which is a Moroccan spa. My God, honestly, they nearly scraped all my skin off. But it was a lovely experience. But what was interesting is that when I was on the train, how many people had those? masks on you know the masks that cover your nose and your behind your ears it's kind of scary anyway that's not why you're here you're here for love island so what happened last night what a drama props to Shanice though for you know confronting Rebecca because I think Rebecca is quite an arrogant girl I really think that, you know, she feels as though she can push everyone away and, you know, they have to listen to what she says. And she's not coming up as a very sensitive or compassionate person. So props to her. Um, I think what I wanted to start off with. Oh, yeah. Let's get a little background for those of you. If it's your first time passing through, I don't always talk about Love Island. I talk about things that are happening all over the world. Anything that affects anyone. Love Highland is just one of those light-hearted parts of my personality that I like to get into and basically about the dynamics of what goes on between people. Anyway, so what happened was we had Connor in there with a G who was this tall mixed race hunk and Shanice liked him. So Shanice vied for him and in comes Rebecca on her white horse well she wasn't on a white horse but she had on this white warrior outfit and she looked sensational all the guys heads were turned even momentarily anyway she decides she's going to go for Connor but at that time Shanice liked Connor and she was talking to him but in comes Rebecca and she whizzes off Connor and the next thing you know they're kissing Connor now gets, you know, all confident about Rebecca. He goes and tells Shanice that he doesn't want her anymore and he's going to stick with Rebecca if she asks him. In the end, Rebecca ends up choosing Luke T, who took Shanice on a date. They got on like a house on fire. Shanice now thinks, oh, here's somebody who I'm attracted to. So next thing you know, um... Luke T takes Rebecca out on a date and you know how flirty she is and how pretty she is and when you think of it's two totally different um, characters they're both very beautiful women but Shanice has a more serious tone serious face until she laughs and then that kind of softens her whereas Rebecca seems to have that soft face all the time very feminine so what happens now? It's not the, ch you know, when they're coupling up, it's normally, well, I shouldn't say normally, the girls get to choose the boys. And who does Rebecca choose? Even though she's got Connor, who potentially she could have a good relationship with, she decides, oh no, she's got a better spark with Luke T. And now, that means Shanice and Connor can't get it on because Connor's rejected Shanice. So Shanice can't then go back to Connor with a G. And um, so now what we have a situation is, is that Rebecca, it seems as though Rebecca has stabbed Shanice in the back. That's how it appears on the surface to Shanice because she spoilt her chances with Connor G and now she's taken Luke T who Shanice was getting to know and who Shanice likes. So now a big blowout yesterday. Shanice tries to explain it from her side point of view to um, Rebecca. Rebecca's like, I'm, I'm here to find love. I'm here to find love. You know, there's nothing you can do about it. More or less, that's what she said. So Shanice is mad. She goes back, talks to the girls and tells her what the interaction was like. She says she was so rude. And I don't know if it's rude. I think it's, she's quite aggressive. And I think aggression can come over as rude. And, you know, and I think she's going to be turned off. I think the guys are going to go off her very soon because there's a lack of empathy 
She's very hard and fast. And yes, you all go in there to find love. But you can still be, you can still show a sense of compassion. She, I'm not even sure how she could have done that because I think she knew she was going to choose. She was going to choose Luke T before, when, as soon as she knew it was up for the girls. And she could have whispered, well, what difference would it have made, really? It wouldn't have made a difference. I think Shanice still would have been pissed because as far as she's concerned, she hasn't got no man and now Rebecca has sport the lives of two. Not sport the lives of two, but Connor got sent home when potentially if she hadn't have taken him away from Shanice, those two could have got it on. So there is that big, big bust up, but it was really good. Like I said, that Shanice confronted um, Rebecca and, you know, put it out there. And I, I really like Luke T. There is something about him. Yeah, I can see why they say he's cheeky, but there's something about him that's um, quite, it's very endearing. He's not, um, he's confident, but he's not arrogant. And he's, um, he's masculine, but he's got a sensitive side. So, you know, and he, he seems empathetic. He does seem as though he gets it. It seems as though he understands women. And I think that is what is appealing about him. I'm not sure about Luke M. I don't. I think he's t he's with Jess, but I don't think he likes Jess. He seems a bit, you know, when somebody else comes in, he's he's off. I don't even know why he asked for a kiss. I think that you know, a lot of those guys they have to um, get a girl to stay in the villa. That is a part of the deal. And I think by showing a kiss, I think that would have made her feel like they're in a couple. But too, very, very quick, and I don't think it was sincere. Just my opinion. Um, oh, I'm so sad that Connor and Sophie have gone. Oh, well, one of them will go. Actually, Connor would be best gone because um, he's a bit too, um, like they said, ho uh, you know, hypersensitive. And I think as much as Sophie likes Connor, Connor won, I think he's not good for her. I think he would stifle her. He doesn't allow her to do what she wants. He doesn't allow her to be herself. He's just too sensitive. I think he may teach her a few things, though, by being that sensitive, that she can't just say anything she feels like saying, that um, people's feelings are on the line. So maybe, hopefully, she'll take that away from him. But, you know, I kind of like them, but I didn't really see them as a couple. I see Shauna and um, Shauna and Callum as a couple. And what thing I like about Callum is that he's willing to learn and he's willing to compromise. Still not sure about Mike and Leanne, the depth of that relationship. As much as I think they like each other, it just seems, you know, very much on the surface don't see much depth but then again you know that could be our culture to be a bit reserved I mean technically the majority of black people we don't tend to put it out there in front of everyone unless we've got some kind of issues that we need to feel as though we need to prove something to someone so their kind of slow but endearing relationship hopefully will get stronger and yeah I think you know, I think they're a really beautiful couple. Who else have we got? Um, well, Naz and Shanice, they're not really a couple, but Naz is such a cutie. And he's so straight up. I, I'm liking Shanice now. Fiery little um, cracker. And um, yeah, I think, can't think of anybody who stood out for me last night. I mean, who else is there? just shows you doesn't it anyway um oh yeah Shanice keeps on saying there's no loyalty and the girl code but <clears throat> I think when you're thinking about loyalty and the girl code I would have thought that applies when you are in a friendship for a long time not when you know somebody for a couple of days I don't see how um Rebecca could have shown 
loyalty Shanice when she she doesn't even know her but I think what Shanice really meant was that there was no respect I think that's what she meant the loyalty was the wrong word I think there was no respect and I think that is what peed her off because it feels like it's not loyalty and you, you kind of get all the undercurrents that it's not loyalty and that's what you think it is. But I think Rebecca disrespected her. And then afterwards in that conversation, she's quite a harsh, I mean, by saying, you know, no, no, she can't help it that you haven't clicked with anyone. That was really insensitive. She has clicked, but the dynamics change every five minutes. If Rebecca hadn't come in when she did, she would have been with Connor G. And if Luke T hadn't come in when he did, Rebecca would have been with Connor and Shanice could have had Connor, I mean Luke T. So it's all dynamics and timing. So, and that's the name of the game. That's why it's called Love Island. You have to overcome these challenges. And that is why when you reach a point in Love Island where no matter who comes into the villa, they don't turn your head, you know you're, you're with the right person. You're with the person who balances you. And that's what's happening here. Because um, there's somebody there that I can't, I can't get hold of. Ah, Paige. Paige and Finley. I think, they, I think the dynamics work with those. And I think that's a genuine relationship. Even though Finn is young, I think Paige is good for him. Yeah, I think Paige is good for Finley. Um, let me see now. Yeah, I was thinking about Connor and Sophie. Yeah, one thing I like about them is that they have really good communication. So even though he flips off, she's able to say to him, um, look, you've, t you know, you flipped off. It's not necessary. I'm only bantering with you. I'm only joking. And he's able to say to her, I don't like jokes like that. And she's able to come away and question herself. For such a young um, person, she goes through a lot of self-reflection. She talks, you know, she actually talks it through. She's do she doesn't just wipe it off. And then she goes and consults with other people to see if what he's saying is making sense. And then she's able to go back and kind of understand it from his perspective. So I think that I think that's good. So I'm not sure if they'll make it on the out. Well, I don't think they can now because if I tell you something, Sophie stays in. You never know. <laughs> well, what happens? I think Luke T is not going to like Rebecca because of her attitude. I think. If Sophie stays, it's going to be between Sophie and Shanice. And then can you imagine poor Shanice? If she's pushed away again, that would be a nightmare. Because I bet Rebecca was thinking when it was Shanice and Naz. And, um, oh, I didn't write these things down. I'm doing it based on me memory. And Sophie and Connor, the last two. I think she was thinking that Shanice and Nad would be going. I thought that for a minute, but those two are very, very good for the villa. So, yeah, it's not going to be an easy, it's not going to be an easy ride. Um, let me see what else. Jess and Luke came, I've already said that. Um, Luke T, I think he'd get on with anyone. Like I said, he's the man at the yard, no. I mean, he's, he's white, Mike T, he's white. <coughs> Mike has got no personality next to Luke T. Has he really? If you compare those two guys, Luke T has got something about him. Um, let me see, Rebecca has got her back. Okay, done that. She needs the pocket rocket, done that. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a props for standing up to Rebecca. Yeah, so all we've got to know now tonight is who should stay. Will it be, um, should it be Connor or should it be Sophie? Connor, somebody will come in and like him. Um, and I think he is open to love. He might find somebody a bit more compatible than him. 
than um, Sophie. I think Sophie's a bit too immature for him, actually. Um, so we'll have to see what happens there. I really can't call it. I've got a funny feeling that it might end up being Sophie. Because I think the guys understand that Connor is oversensitive and it could cause problems. And I think the girls are, uh, know that Connor isn't really good for Sophie and they're going to want to, to have another chance to find love in the villa. So that's all. Those are my thoughts today. And that's all for now. I hope you all have a beautiful day. If you're not, if you haven't subscribed, um, like I said, you know, I'm not always talking about Love Island. I talk about a host of other things. So that shouldn't be a reason to subscribe, but it is the only way to know when I put up a review um, about Love Island. And that's all for now. Bye bye.